Gearhead 327. Okay, today guys, I need to find some way to put this thing on here. Now, in the past, I have used a hammer. I've used all kinds of crude but effective means. But I've come to the point that I need to make a tool for that. Um, I mean, I could buy one. But, I mean, why pay 20 or $30 for a tool when you have all this stuff laying around here? And we can get from this. So, that's what I'm trying to accomplish, guys. We'll, uh, you see how that turned out. And we'll... Uh, We'll use this on this thing. Let me show you some of the thinking behind when I'm getting that tool to. Uh, I just need something that'll hit that lip right there. I know I could use a, a wrench and there's all kinds of other different ways. But I want a, a tool I can just, just make it work. Um, this is a 5 8 washer. And you can see that it, it's a little sloppy right there because it's a little bit bigger than 5 8 so I've got some of these uh, blanks that I use the plasma cutter on a project. What I can do is put a 5 8 inch hole in that, clean that up, and then what I'm thinking is weld something like this on here, and then that will, and then I'll have to groove this out right here, as you saw, and we'll have to uh, get this thing where I can hit that thing on there. So that that is the plan, and this is a uh, small block Chevy, high volume oil pump so let's put that in there for now get out of there and let's uh, let's get into it All right, I got my 1993 Lincoln MIG welder right here. I've got this piece cut out right here. This it kind of looks like a Pac-Man, huh? Um, I decided instead of uh, going with a piece of this half-inch steel right here, which I have a better piece right here, I was just going to use this old bolt that I happen to have on hand. It's uh, five eighths. It's pretty uh, substantial, and the idea is to weld it on something like that and then this nice head gives me something that I can uh, bang on so let's uh, let's get this thing hooked up
All right, there we go, guys. Something like that. Just need to clean up a little bit, throw some paint on it, make it pretty. I mean, we could use it just like that, but I mean, we are on YouTube and appearances matter. So, okay, well, that uh, sure looks a lot better uh, with that gray primer on there. I need to let that dry. I'm going to put some black paint on it and then it'll be ready to go. let that dry and she'll be ready to go well all right all right all right all right guys that's the uh, finished product right there it uh, is not going to win any beauty contests or beauty prizes but it uh, hopefully will uh, knock this thing on here instead of the way I used to do it in the old days was uh, you know just kind of beat it here where you can see it just kind of uh, beat it on there with a hammer the best I could so let's uh, see if we can get it started I don't want to start well, let's use the tool see if we can start it that way Things set here. Well, what's going on? A little bit on this side right here. Make sure you all can see that. Let's hit it on this side. The double time doing this so you can see it. That is definitely knocking it on there, guys. Let's uh, give it a couple more wax. And guys, I want you to know that is the easiest I've ever put one of these on here. So I just need to put this uh, on the motor and make sure that this thing is uh, not up too high. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and prime it, stick it in a bucket of oil, prime this thing and put it on. So but anyway guys, that uh, takes a job and makes it a whole lot easier with the right tool. So looks like I scuffed it. but. I don't really care, you know, I can always touch it up, but I'm going to put that in my toolbox. Anyway, it's pretty easy, saved 20, 30 bucks, plus it was assembled very quickly. It only took really just a few minutes to put something like this together, so. Okay, GearHead 327. Alright, I just got the um, oil pump on there. I don't even have the bolt in it and I put a little bit of uh, Loctite on it and I've got that in there and what I did guys is I measured it I put that thing across the pan yeah the pan still needs to be cleaned up a little bit but uh, I'm coming out about I don't know if you can see that but if you get even it's about seven and a half inches to the bottom and then I measured this and where this comes in this is about seven and a quarter and I've got that little bolt up there and we're gonna put the pan on and as long as we've done our measurements properly 
it's going to fit right on there and we won't have any interference. So let's, uh, let's put this on here. And we're not hitting anything. So I think we've got it positioned correctly. And if we have to, we would, you, you don't ever want to beat this while this is on here. We could take this off on the table and tap it up or down, whatever we needed. Alright guys, in case you're wondering, it just, it just fits on there like that. So.